What's up? Get the fuck up. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is The Sweet Science. We are here breaking down UFC on Fox 6. I know you're pumped. I'm fucking pumped for Johnson versus Dodson. Fuck yes. No. So... Let's talk about this card. Cause let's uh, stop. Let's start with the worst fight on the card: Johnson versus <laughs> the, Johnson, main the main event. Main <laughs> event. We have the Ultimate Fighter winner, John Dotson, facing Demetrius. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a, at least I think so. I don't know who this fucking guy is. <laughs> They're all on the Ultimate Fighter these days. That's like the worst fight on the. I guess there's some pretty bad fights. There's some pretty bad fights, but it definitely shouldn't be the main event. I don't give a fuck if it's a title uh, fight. If it's a title fight or not. First off, let's all say what, what we all really, what we all. I'm gonna say what we all think. It's a bullshit division, and this is a bullshit belt. I look uh, black as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna stop? No, man. Let's keep going. Who cares? <laughs> this is a this is a bullshit division. It, it shouldn't be the main event. It shouldn't certainly shouldn't be. Over Donald Cerrone, Anthony Pettis, which we'll get into, or Quentin Rampage Jackson against Glover Texteria. I mean, it's 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 pretty boring too. Okay, the lighter division is fun, but it stops at this division. Okay, the flyweight division is ter- it has four fighters it has right four, now. It has four fighters, yes, and actually, um, the fucking women's uh, division is deeper than it, this fucking <laughs> division right now. It's terrible. Ian McCall is facing uh, Benavidez here yeah. pretty soon. And they were all just in the exact same tournament. I, I, I don't know. Maybe the next person is going to get the next title shot. It's a bullshit fight. It's the snoozer the of the night. The flyweight division was created because the UFC basically thinks that titles sell pay per view. So they thought, hell, well, let's have another fucking title. But no one cares. This is always I don't even, a fight. I don't know who's going to win. I don't give a shit. Let's go. Let's move on to the, the to the exciting fights that we're going to talk about. Let's. There's not really a whole lot, but let's talk about. Um, let's Hold see. on. Let's start from the now. Let's go back. Let's go back to let's the better go to fights. The fucking. Um, Starting with the prelims. Uh, I don't know who these guys are. Ryan Bader, Vladimir, fucking my some, something, Shenko. Um, it's oh, a decent Bader fight. Bader versus Matyushenko. I like that fight. It's a pretty decent fight. I, I like mean, that fight. It's okay. Yeah. Um, it should be higher on the card. Ba- it should be. Bader will probably knock him out with that one right hand punch that he has. Uh, Matyushenko can't get out of the way of a fucking beach ball at this point <laughs> of his career. So he's going to get a hit. But I do like the fight. If he can avoid the right hand, it might turn it might out to be, be kind of interesting. interesting. Yes. Okay. Um, T.J. Grant versus Matt Wyman. Um, Couldn't care less about. Okay. Eric Koch versus uh, Ricardo Lamas. This Koch is the guy that was going to fight Aldo, isn't it? Yeah. He got uh, yeah he got completely fucking screwed off of an injury, and then somehow Frankie Edgar got into the fight because he's a bigger name. So uh he's um therefore on he went from the main event in brazil on pay-per-view to the undercard of uh ufc on fox in chicago um not really a whole lot to say about that fight so let's talk about the real two fights here okay donald cerrone versus anthony pettis the fight that everybody's excited about and very highly anticipated Mm -hmm. that is a very competitive fight Uh, i don't know who do you pick i don't know (laughs) it's Uh, a really good fight I don't know who to pick. Um, I think if anyone wants it to go to the ground, it's Pettis. Um, but really? can he? I think it would be Cerrone because because really? I don't think Pe- why would Pettis want to go to the ground with Cerrone? He's kind of got some good. Doesn't he not got some good submission moves on the ground? Cerrone got good jujitsu, but I just think that Pettis has a better chance of winning on the ground than he does on the feet. I'm thinking. I don't know. It's a really good kickboxing match, pretty much. I mean. It's it's pretty much a good strikings game there, and, and not really sure I, who to win. I I'm really I, excited for this. Yeah, I would like to see Pettis win because I want to see him fight Henderson again. If so, he um, should probably get the next fight yeah. against Henderson. But I don't know who wins though. It's a it's a pick 'em fight, that's for sure. That's a good fight, really good fight. Not much to say about it because there's just not we just don't know. Yeah. The ne- the co main uh, rampage's last fight against Glover Texteria. Uh, the big prospect, Brazilian prospect in the light heavyweight division. What are your thoughts on this? I think Quentin knocks him out. I'm not, impre- <laughs> I'm not impressed with Glover. A lot of people are. I'm not. I am impressed with Glover, but I am not impressed for them to be saying that he should be fighting John Jones right now. I see him fucking up a man that is halfway out the door, and he doesn't even realize that he still wants to stay in. So <laughs> he's going to come in. 
on his little TRT shit, what he did when he was He's on TRT? When, when he was fighting Ryan Bader, yeah. Damn, <laughs> Back in February. Shit. Yeah. So Did you watch his interview with Ariel Hawani? I did. Cool. If you guys watched it, if you haven't, check it out. But Quentin don't know what the fuck he wants to do about it. He really career. doesn't know. And when he yeah. retires, he doesn't know what he wants to do. Yeah. Which is why I don't think he's going to retire. Which is why I also think Glover Texteria is probably... He's not going to knock him out, but he's probably going to make him look pretty bad. Because if, if Quentin wins, he's not leaving the UFC. No. He's, he's just not going to. If he loses, I could see him walking away from the UFC for, but, a, for a couple fights. Yeah, but the thing, yeah, for a couple fights. The thing is also is that... People like to think Rampage is this slamming knockout artist and he hasn't knocked out anybody since Chuck? Ch no. There was Wandy. Let's find out. There was Wandy and then maybe there was um wait, he didn't fight too. The him, last so. guy he knocked out was Damn, he Vandalay didn't even Silva. Vandalay Silva in two thousand eight. He went three rounds with Keith Jardine. He hasn't knocked out anybody in four years. He ain't doing it to Glover. He ain't gonna outbucks Glover. I just don't see it happening. I think Glover's gonna make him look pretty bad in this. Man, fight. you might be right. I mean, he ain't he he, he should have knocked out Bader. He did it. He should have knocked out Hamill. He did it. He should have knocked out Jardine in about twelve seconds. He didn't do that either. So maybe he's uh he's not knocking anybody out. He's not slamming them anymore. He ain't doing shit. He out there. ain't doing shit, but making people look good. And that's what he's going to do with Glover tonight. <laughs> Don, on the UFC I don't know, man. You kind of might change my mind. I don't know. We'll see. This is the Sweet Science covering UFC on Fox 6 in Chicago. Uh, we are sorry that they are giving you such a shitty main event. Um, but there are some fights. It, it's worth watching. It's still worth watching. Yeah. Just the main event just really rubs me fucking wrong. It's like a bad hand job. It just fucking, rubs you wrong. Yeah, it just rubs <laughs> you wrong. You stroke me well, and then when I'm about to, you just do wrong at the end. Okay, <laughs> just no. Let's just stop that. All right.